Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Dillian today along with... ASM First Midrakir at your service. And welcome back again to Tomb Raider Anniversary, the fifth stream I believe. It is what I've said in the title and it, the last one that I have stored on Twitch does say port, so that would automatically make this the fifth. Unless I just absolutely fail at counting again like I had a case of yesterday. I went from yeah. five, three, four. Yeah, do, remember, we do have a working thing on the Discord now, so you can double check the counting again yeah. once. So I don't have to do that myself. Anyways, uh, last time we discovered that Natla is actually uh, old as all hell and was, one, was the Queen of Atlantis. But then she did something to get her ass put into a crystal. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go see what all this is up about. Also, we escaped execution after we got ambushed by them because Blower <laughs> was just tripping whilst he was having a vision. And yeah, we snuck aboard her ship. Oh, uh, more a boat was it, I think. And uh, yeah, now we're at Natla's Mines. Actually, could have just as well been Natla's uh, folks who, were, who dug the mine at the back entrance <laughs> of the previous area. Let's see. Could be Maybe. that there was some sort of uh, security preventing her from actually doing anything. Let's see. What the? Hmm? What? Did you see that? Yeah, the mouse over OBS. <laughs> Apparently Remove. it wasn't as caught as I thought it was. There's almost several blue squares appearing on my end. Okay, if that I didn't notice. Yeah, it, it's gone now, but you did something. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, oh dear. We don't have our weapons, so yeah, we're out of luck somewhat. It took the moment to, disa uh, to, uh, to, to disable this arm, yeah, Laura. Let's see, can we just... Well, the only thing we have is the grapple, and we can't really use that as a weapon. No. I would not say she's fully... Disarmed? Yeah, she still has two arms. Yep, and some uh, very painful boots. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay. Again, either she might be. Oh, sorry, go on. Uh, either I'm being an idiot or I'm just completely overlooking something. Uh, uh, what I was going to say is, Laura might not be a very muscle bound. Because she could uh, maybe use a little bit more muscle with her life still, but she does know how to move fast and know where to aim. Yeah. And hello there, Zeri. How are you doing today? Oh, hello. And welcome. Yeah, Zeri is someone I know uh, through some other people, and I, we, we've raided them a few uh, times, I'm pretty sure. It's... We have? Yeah, I, I think we have. It has been a bit, I think. And you're doing well, it's good to hear. It... Really, Laura? <laughs> no, no, no. Really, Helian? Uh, yeah, good to hear you're doing well. We're maybe in the last stream of this game. Uh, maybe one more after this. I, As is often with a lot of the games that I've streamed, I'm forgetting the, a lot of the details. So it could be that we will be busy here for a bit more. But we'll have to see. Okay, this one's Saturday. Uh, now she grabs on. Okay. Hey, what did and I miss? Oh, hello, Ron. Oh, hello, Ron. Well, we... <laughs> Another familiar face. We just started, so you did not reach much. Cool. For the record, I'm not gonna have to be here for, like, the whole stream. My brother's, like... Like I already mentioned, he's got his swimming lesson, so... Yeah, yeah. You, you said so... That is why we're not streaming uh, Borderlands today, because, yeah, something came up for Rom. So we're moving that to tomorrow, hopefully. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I think I remember there being one more... ...after this. Could be. I remember oh. some bits, but I'm not speaking of them specifically to avoid spoilers. And... 
Mama <laughs> continues to just levitate whenever she wants to. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, now I think I remember Siri. I... Due to a slight pixelation, I thought it said Siri the Pox, not Fox. <laughs> no, that's their that is... 40k counterpart <laughs> of the Chaos Marines. Yeah, that, that's why I felt confused. For, I, I did not remember I was reading someone with a Pox in their name, but Fox? Okay. That I recognize. And yeah, now I remember it. You were you were streaming satisfactory. Let's see. Oh, our pistols uh, are in there. We just need to find our way in there. Let's see. I didn't actually expect it to be able to grab on here, but it doesn't seem like we can do much with this in the way. Head back. So did they take those? As no, they didn't take the medicine. Did they take your ammo? Okay. Always more is better than... <laughs> okay, why is the fox pouty now? <laughs> because... <laughs> because Vakir thought you were a chaos marine? What? Oh, hey. Siri. Hey, Siri. Let's see. None of these things work because there's no fuses installed. Okay, where can we find those? <clears throat> hmm. Okay, definitely not heading this way yet. <laughs> it looks like a pretty toasty place down there. Oh look, oh look, the miners found a portal to hell. Uh, not too deep. Uh, I forget the title. The, the, the Doom music starts up. Uh, H1N1 or something? No, that's the, that's the bird flu. <laughs> E1M1, yeah. H1N1 oh, is dear. the bird flu, I believe. So the joke can continue. Every single one is basically episode one, map one. Yeah. Let's see. A red fuse. Okay. Can we jump on that note? And yeah, for once, these dumb rats are an actual threat somewhat. But they're all unusually big. So, Rob, what do you say? Just kick them. Yeah, we don't have a kick button in this game. Uh, uh, I've had it. Grab Jade a very really big stick, chop on it, impale them, and grill them. <laughs> okay, I'm not that desperate for food. Oh, no, no, you were to say later impale the stick on the ground and leave the cooked uh, rat on it as a warning to, for the rest. <laughs> like uh, full on uh, stereotypical tribal stuff. More of uh, maybe like Vlad, but unlike Vlad, you could maybe take a knife and use it as a kebab or something. <laughs> and uh, I, honestly, we probably. Proven... If I were to eat a rat, it would be on a dire situation. Yeah. Same with me and bugs for that amount. <laughs> like, there, yeah. there is no way you can convince me that... That uh, insects or spiders or whatever are good food. Like, they're probably high in protein, yes, but a lot of meats are. So, you'll not, get, you'll not find me eating any of that uh, willingly. Not without paying me like a million or something. And even then. I say, uh, for me, it would be a case of like escargot. Like, I thought escargot was fine, but the only thing that added flavor to snail was the special butter. The snail itself was bland. So I could see myself eating the two snails, but if I had an option to eat something else, I would. I'm being an idiot. I'm supposed to drop down from there, not jump out. Right. The, the thing with snails is that they liquefy, I believe, so basically you end up with, uh, yeah, slimy water. So that was not how they taste, they had a bit more consistency than that. I think liquid water is more what happens to you pour salt on them. Okay, but still, it's it's mostly the butter and such that actually gives taste, so for it might... <laughs> 
in my opinion, you might as well just, just keep the bottom, screw everything else. Well, it is a decent survival food. If I'm about to eat bugs, I will probably try my best to eat the non-poisonous and find a way to make them somewhat tasty with some sort of spice and honey or what I can find. Basically, I mask everything about it. Chocolate covered ants. Oh yeah, I, I think I've seen that on uh, Good Morning Morning, and I'm still surprised by it. That's definitely a new one. Yeah, I'm more surprised of they they have ants and they dip them in sugar. Like the ants are not exactly big. Yeah, it, it, I think it'd be more like oh, damn. ants with cho no started. chocolate with ants. Okay. Oh dear. Do, I think there are some bigger ants, but I forgot where they are or what they are called. Uh, there are some. But I think those are more salt. The bigger ants, I think, are also more dangerous. Like the fire ants and such. Yeah, do I answer smaller do. As remember, I think we have some red ants in Sweden. Do we have a... I don't know if that's the official name, but every Swedes just call them Pismira. Okay. It, it literally means word for word, piss ant. <laughs> so that's where that word comes from, pissant. <laughs> yeah, no. Pissant? What? No, like... Uh, pissant is a word that's used often, uh, somewhat, I think, less these days, and I actually don't know the how the specific meaning of it. But it is a, it is very much uh, this way back already. It is very much an insult. Ah, uh, okay. I should not be surprised. Okay. But yeah, the reason we call them that is probably to... Well, when they bite you, it will sting like heck. Like it's burning. Okay, that, that sounds like fire ants to me. Yeah, so I don't know. I think we call them Ildmira, Il fire ant, but also Pismira. I don't know why. Probably due to too many had encounters with them and uh, they behaved rather pissed. That's one way. I, I think it could also be because, uh, I'm not sure on this, but I believe urine can help relieve pain of ant bites or something like that. And actually, I think we're supposed to go down like this. Yeah, I'm unsure for, I think I heard me put this testing out. Some of those missed and realized urine doesn't do squat. Nope, wrong way. <laughs> okay. Laura just decided that corner. Oh, reminds me. If I remember right, I think I learned that if so, you get stung st st by a uh, jellyfish, it's popular to think you're supposed to piss on it, but apparently you are not ever to piss on it. Okay. But apparently it makes it worse. Oh, well, luckily I hadn't, didn't get that whilst when I was stung by one of the blaster things. Yeah, for, I don't think it's make it worse pain-wise, more of infection-wise. Okay. Now, where are we actually supposed to go with this? Like, we know where to bring this thing, but how do we get back there? Actually, probably there. Okay. Oh, come on! You can't even blame me for that one this time. But yeah, I, I think with ants, there's it's typical that you have the normal ones, then you have fire ants, and I think the other most known painful ants are bullet ants or something, or am I confusing those with bullet wasps or something? I think it's bullet ants. I'm not familiar with bullet ants. I'm familiar with bombardier 
ants or it kind of ants that can fire projectiles. Basically, okay, imagine so. if an ant when it bit you, it felt like you got shot at. Yeah, that. Oh. Okay, come on. Also, I'm reminded of a. Uh, of a story. Uh, oh, I don't know if you, two, if you guys know about. Mike and Zack, uh, Mike Burnfire. Basically, they're like ex military who just play games, currently on Fallout. We're basically just bullshitting around, and one of the things they do is that they. Uh, well, that they mentioned stuff about their military service. Okay. Uh, Sack was. Yeah. Sack was the. Uh, I think it was his entire platoon. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> no, Jay. Did he fall and fly in the other direction? Yep, for the second time. <laughs> It's sort of like she landed in a trash can. Hmm. Either way, Anyways, go on. Uh, yeah, Sack was the armor for his platoon, and Mike was for the Marines. And usually they talk about all the, the very weird, very stupid shit that would happen to them in the military. And one incident that happened to Sack was that they were basically out for training and shit. And so he was doing like, like uh, setups. I think it was called. Yeah, setups. Except he started to notice. Oh, my my leg feels a little, feels oddly itchy. And then he starts to feel that all the way up his crotch. And then he realizes that he's been doing setups on top of a fire hands nest. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, guy. Yeah, I think I've heard of something similar happening. Uh, not, not too similar. Um, I think. Hmm. I I'm blanking on the details, but it was something similar with some guy in the military getting crawled on by a bunch of ants. Uh, but I think those were bullet ants. So we don't need to go this way at the moment. Uh, I think it was actually during an engagement. Not, no, not during an engagement. Was trying a, during a reconnaissance or something. Oh. Hmm. I'll need to look it up what uh, might have been involved with all that. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I think uh, there is this one YouTube channel that does a lot of uh, history and what if stuff and such. Uh, I've forgotten their name. The, hmm. It's been a bit since I've seen some of their work, I think. But they're basically an info. An information channel, not like uh, pranks or anything like that. And let's see. It's not the yarn hop, that's a history thing. Nope, we're not going this way. Info hub? No. Laura, please stay within this realm <laughs> of reality. Just to see what the hell happens if we get to the bottom of the ladder whilst doing this. I should have seen that coming completely. I just her ponytail freaking the hell out. We um, might have to hit the checkpoint. Yeah. Uh actually. We don't have a restore the checkpoint option. So unless there's some sort of feature to restore her back to uh, reality. Oops, there goes gravity. Uh, I guess we're yeah, we'll just have to hit the load. Yeah. And we'll have to do all of that again. Okay. Yeah. We're going to save once we get to that point again. Yeah. 
now we can clearly see you're not being paranoid to avoid that happening. There is a reason to avoid that. Yeah, not land the trees. And I think I just remembered what it actually was. And it wasn't during reconnaissance or something. I think it was during training. And it wasn't fire ants or anything like that. But it was some a, a specific plant. Uh, a specific poison plant that... Uh, Basically, think like a how poison, was ivy. Called? poison ivy, but it, it's a bigger, badder, evil brother. Ah. Oh, good gods! I, yeah, and uh, what happened was that well, during training, they had to go take a dump, and well, there's no toilet paper and everything. So, uh, guess what plant he found? Ah, yeah, that is that'll do. Nicely for a massive amount of pain. Yeah, I think the guy committed suicide because of that. Because Ooh. it it was specifically a sort a a pain that just it's because by needles of sorts in the plant's leaves oh. that just uh, they go in but they don't go out, so the oh. pain stays. Okay, so like nettle leaves, just extremely much worse. Yeah. Replace the itching with pain. Yeah, burning pain from what I recall. I, I'm i not even sure if I want to look up the video now to not have to remember the details. Probably better you don't. Yeah, probably. And now you people know why you should always pack yourself with you, your own toilet paper. Or maybe a plant book. To identify so which plant is safe. So here's something that's kind of funny. Oh? The Tomb Raider collection, as in all of the Tomb Raider games on Steam. They are in a discount right now. Hang on, I gotta check what... Okay, but uh, yeah, enough about the uh, hell plants. <laughs> Let's just catch up to where we were. Yeah, you can buy all of. Don't break yeah, it out. Buy... Sorry, uh, I was gonna say you can buy all of the games, basically the original set, uh, the Legend trilogy, the Guardian of Light DLC, and the Tomb Raider reboot DLC. And basically all the stuff for like Rise of the Tomb Raider as well as Shadow of the Tomb Raider for about seventy-three dollars and five cents. Okay, that's still a lot for the entire series, but it is also just a hell of a lot of content. True, it's a sixty. Yeah, of course, it is. sixty-nine percent off. Also, from my perspective, it's 279 solas. Okay. And the regular price is 902. Wait, can you tell me how you spell it, the currency you use? Solas. Uh, S O L S O L E S. Okay, so less like. Basically, yes. it's sun, basically it's sun in Spanish. Okay. I'm thinking I know where Drakir's mind was going with the uh, solace from Hell of a Boss and such. What? Actually, no. So to disappoint you. I was thinking of the, the, the um, elf from Dragon Age. <laughs> okay. The bald one, I think it's called that. Okay. There we go. Oh, I might be wrong. There's actually nothing to climb into there at the moment. And also, I think I heard several characters in some games having that name, Solas. Alright, okay. the guy from Inquisition who... Am I allowed to spoil Inquisition? Uh, I plan to play it eventually, so uh, <laughs> please no. Okay. You, you can maybe send it to uh, the kid if he wants it. What? Uh, if the kid wants to hear it, he, you could DM it to him. To him the... Uh, I played a bit, but I never finished it. Yeah, 
I'll wait. Okay. Uh, I've never actually played any of the Dragon Age games to my own recollection. Uh, but I have I seen four Let's Plays. I uh, can oh. remember that a lot of people liked the first one. The second one was divisive. Yeah, very rushed. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, the and second one had some good ideas, but extremely way too short. And felt rushed. Like, from what I, I know, the I base have is most of the, story. the first one. Oh, sorry. Uh, from what I know, the basis of the story was liked, but yeah, they rushed it, and yeah, could could have been better than it was. Yeah, I had a game, but someone played it on the, uh, my uh, PlayStation before me, and I think they finished it under two, three hours. The main quest. There we go. By accident. Yep, that also works. I was more intending for Laura to grab on. Damn it. Okay. Luckily, these drops aren't too big, but if we find a ladder that is too big of a drop, then we might end up jumping to our own death. It'd be, it'd be a case of uh, save before using the ladder. There we go. And uh, there. I think what I have I did like I drank a little bit, but of the Inquisition and learn more of the lore and such, I actually lost interest for it. I, I don't hate it, I just. You played it, but then you got bored of it. Yeah, yeah I, I tra played most of them. And I started to realize that I, the, the game and world is not really for me. <sighs> Okay. Like, I don't hate it, just... It stopped me clicking as, as, more, as more I learned of the world. Uh, more I felt like... Uh... You just didn't find it interesting anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that happens. Stupid you play a game long enough that you can just sick of it. My case is yeah. about the games that I still need to finish. I mean, I still need to finish... Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. What the heck uh, just... It, it's a steam leak. Well, at least you got the blue one. Yeah, okay. I, I was half thinking like, wait, isn't that... And then, well... Uh, what the... Lara, Lara... Yeah, I, I was thinking, wait, isn't that the same marking as where the steam just came from? And then, well, cook, <laughs> cook Lara. Ow. Yeah, I, I have many games I still like the lore and such, and still interested in. Even though I don't play that much, I still have some respect for them. But Dragon is just one of those that I was eager to go for them, but the more I learned about the world and the games and the... How each of them were extremely different from each other almost. I just dropped, lost interest and I even got almost annoyed with the wool uh, companion system. And which game? All of them. Uh, okay, yeah. let me rephrase that. Which franchise? Dragon Age. Okay. Like, the many times I feel like, okay, this wouldn't make sense. And then suddenly, when I have a character I think I understand, they almost turn on me just because of a shows they should probably have liked, but no, they apparently hate it. Come on. Uh, yeah. And many characters, but it doesn't make sense. And sometimes, when you get friends with one, the other one wants to kill you somewhere. I, I almost got, went insane from those times that I. Uh, for, I actually. Actually, uh, on Inquisition, started to use uh, the wiki as a guide, just to lessen the burden of that pain. Yeah. For other games where there are some system like that, I actually able to understand and understand and make sense. But with Dragon Age, nope. I mean, I 
if you're ever interested in the Persona games, I would recommend you get a guide. But I have, have more one to, of them. Okay. But that has more to do with like, you know, like school stuff and how to eat and how to fuse Personas. Yeah, yeah as, I, 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 go ahead. Uh, I was like, I, I played Persona 5 and I kind of gave up. Mostly because up. how long the ga damn game is. Oh uh, yeah, no, it's, it's one of those games that it's kind it, of up. It, it's a long game. Yeah, I think I think I want to stream it eventually with a spoilerless guide. But that is going to be just an entire project for months, maybe yeah. even years. Like, I don't mind when games are long, but this was one of the games that felt like it's gonna be complicated for I still have a annoying time limit. Because I... And yeah, the rule that you have a deadline actually ended up killing me. Like, there are some games with a deadline I have been able to handle yours fine. But the one on Persona just uh, killed for me. Oh, I see oh, what you need to do now. You just figured it out? Yep. I was gonna Blue say, button makes uh, it go bang down. <laughs> there. And... There. Okay. okay, that was supposed to just smash through. Or do we need to swing it into it or something? Uh, why is the game not... The game crash. It's not crashed, it's not frozen either. Uh, I'm yeah, I, I think moving. it was... I think it was supposed to smash through and just didn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, Did the physics engine fail? Yep. Okay, now we have to do that part over again. So that's another one for the highlight reel. I'm sure that it will be... E e should be clipped for. I'm sure that wasn't really comical. Yeah, that was just it's dumb. It's more along the lines of the strange amount of glitches. It's more along the lines of the highlight reel of the strange amount of glitches this game's got. Yeah, there's some of them I think it's due to how old it has gotten. True. You didn't be. Okay, there's just no checkpoints between. Uh, I. I haven't been really paying attention to when the checkpoints pop up too much, but apparently we just do not get a checkpoint between any of this fuse stuff after the red one. Uh. Oh. Yeah, for a celebration of the, <laughs> the anniversary of the franchise, it is... Really? Uh, oh. Okay, I'll accept that. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. Clip. Come on up. There we go. I don't get why. I don't get why the stream deck just takes so long to respond at times. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. We'll hope we'll have to hope that uh, take two is the only take we'll need after that. So I think I'm just going to look up if there is a known glitch or anything. Probably good at the end. Maybe oh, wait, six. Wait, did no, we miss that before? Or... Okay, now is probably the time you put a save. Once you can. I'm curious if it'll put us right on the this or down back on the checkpoint. Okay. 
Hmm. At least that should save us a bit of work if it falls apart again. And I definitely do not remember this many glitches when I originally played this game. So I think part of it is just an old game not wanting to work well with Windows 10. And this is the Steam version after all, so that should be a more functional version. Yeah, then again, one of the many reasons Steam were working hard on their own console for so many years, it was due to they were getting tired of Microsoft uh, making it harder for gamers to play their games. There. Now I put the green fuse, and now I Wait. put the blue fuse. Uh, is there a way you can just save right now in case of emergencies? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just confusing for a moment because didn't we need the green fuse to get over there in the first place? Or Actually, we, yeah, we sort of glitched it through because we were, <laughs> yeah, that, that we, we were you supposed we to climb back over the fence. A, fuck it, we created a speedrun strat. Let's just press the button and see if this actually works. Yeah. Okay. Smash or no smash? Smash this hey, time, or... okay. And so the, the debris suddenly disappeared. <laughs> So the lesson for today is don't use plywood for your roofing in a mine. I just Actually, realized Queen Lara have used a rock to break the window up. Probably. Okay, get our guns back. Okay, now that Rome said that, then that actually made this post so weird. What is it? Uh, bulletproof glass? It's probably strong glass, yeah? Now, are we going to be left out of this? Uh, or was this supposed to be more... No, no it's not bulletproof. Is that what for bulletproof? Wait. Then why the heck did we break the roof? Uh, because, because Laura isn't strong enough to actually punch through it. Now then, we can take out the pests. Oh wait, um, the weapons were hidden inside, weren't they? Yeah. Only I, not, I only now realized. I, I did actually also say that, uh, mention at the start that her, she was disarmed. We even made a joke about <laughs> her still having her arms, so still being armed. Uh, well, remember, just only now re realized you actually had guns again. It does look like, oh, the guns were hidden in there. <laughs> okay, just shove that ass in, in the, the camera. Let's see, we're going to need to get this thing onto the tracks and use that to break through the rather shoddy boarding up. Wait, wait, I'm guessing wait, wait, we need to get one? up there for that. The cart or the dentist drill? <laughs> the drill. Uh, speaking of, I'll... I'll uh, I'll be needing to go to the dentist again on the 2nd of March or so to get a filling first in my life. Hopefully the last as well, because, yeah, I've, <laughs> I realized... Oh, first realized we need to make a save so we can not have to do that again. Yeah, they're going to need that freaking grill to fill in the stupid little hole. Oh. It will be done with... Uh, uh, not sedation, but with, uh, what's the word in English, to anesthesia or anesthetics, something like that. Uh. It's not, not to knock me out, but to make it not feel anything. You'll be numb to the pain. Screw it. That's yeah, what I'm going with. Needle and painkiller. I'm just yeah. blanking on the board. Actually, I think there's a much easier way for us to get in now. That was easy. There we go. Now, 
Okay. Now we just need to get this thing moving. Open up a city. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, darling. This is the end of the line. Just hand it over, Larson. This has nothing to do with you. <laughs> What's it got to do with you? The ski on belongs to Natla. Face it, you got no business here. I don't have time for this. Get out of the way or you die. <laughs> what you gonna do, shoot me? Come on, Lyra. I just work here. Now, I know how bad you want this, but I can't let you pass. We both know you're not going to kill me for it. That's just not who you are. I'm not who you think I am. With that, Laura gets the first human she's killed in her life. And no. thus we'll start a continuing presence of somehow blundering into tombs and killing everybody else involved. So, hmm. Is it kinda retcon or do I have different timelines now? Timelines. Different timeline thing. This is actually her first kill in this timeline. Alright. Yeah, with wildlife and such, she had, so she had no issue with that. That was just between her and her target. But uh, yeah, Larson is the first human being that she has slain to get to something. And yeah, I had to say, she actually looked a bit terrifying with that angry face you had. You know, Lara Croft is terrifying when she wants something. And if you get in between... This will go bad. Okay, I gotta go. My brother's got his... his swimming lessons, and it's late. So, you guys have fun. Good luck. Maybe I'll be able to see the finale with you guys. Okay, see you next time. Right. See you guys later. Be safe and good luck. You too. Later. And Oh, and uh, if Siri, are you still there? Have a good day, I guess. I have no idea what time it is. Like time zone. Oop. Almost fell off. There's oh, some dear. ammunition over there, but I think we Hello. have enough. No, I have to ask. How did they build this? Yeah, it's, I think it's less that they build it and more that... Uh, the lava was an extra addition. Yeah, dude, it makes you wonder... What did he do to... Was it, what is so stupid they actually... Dug into a uh, some lava vent? Probably. This is just too easy to pass up. Also, medkit. We need plenty of those. Hey, Noon. Hello, Noon! Here. What's a good shit thing? Yep. 
Okay, jump through early. Okay, there. Okay, <laughs> not fast enough this time. Okay. Well, that yep. this can is only a realistic way to die in lava. No, I think I'd rather take that compared to what actually happens uh, if you land on lava. Yeah, spontaneous combustion, if I remember correctly. Uh, more of you actually lay on top and start burning for a while. You, you probably die. The, the heat alone may kill you first before you burn up. Yeah. And you'll be on top of it. You won't be sink. You'll be laying on top of it. Yes, yeah, it's lava is actually this before. Thick. It is literally molten rock after all. Yeah. <laughs> lava crisp, really. I, I think we talked about this for, with this now maybe three, four, maybe five times since we started streaming together. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing being that. Uh, even being near lava would be hazardous because of the toxic fumes. Also, hello. I was hoping you'd show up. I want to make you scream. Unless you want to end up like Larson, get out of my way. It's so good, isn't it? Gets even better. You can't explain it to people. They have to feel it. Girl, you gotta be out of your mind! Not so hard now, are you? It does get easier with each, and technically she's not responsible for uh, these deaths since, well, they kill each other over her, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> and no, none of them are cyborgs. Uh, I remember one thing specifically about this little jackass, as in, in the original game he was even more ludicrous than this, like, he. You'd have to fight each of these guys as a separate boss fight, instead of two QTEs. And, uh, yeah, this jackass would be riding around in a room on his freaking skateboard as he'd pepper you with machine gun fire like that. Oh, for love of... I, I, don't, I don't like the, these bad guys, especially him for... Uh, I don't know why, but the, I, over the years, grown to really despise the world. Hands halfway down, showing underwear in that manner. Yeah, the wannabe gangster style. Yeah, and some people. Well, someone actually in in my school who actually had it. So people could see all of the all of the boxes basically, and the teacher had to drag them all away and tell them to pull off the pants. I I never understood the appeal of it. For honestly. All I see when I see that style is someone gonna trip. Yeah, someone immature. Yeah, mm. and also, no way you're gonna be able to run practically. So, if that was actually a gangster clothing style, then I am feeling that probably resulted in a lot of bad things happening to the gangsters. 
me. Uh, to, to my knowledge, act yeah. Original gangsters like uh, the mafia style, yeah, they never were that style. It's more like uh, the modern quote unquote uh, gangsters who wear that sort of stuff. Yeah, I think even those uh, nowadays have stopped. Probably would have realized the issue with it. There we go, simple. Oh, yeah, I've most of the time, people don't really like QTEs and such, but I think in this game it fits with the, the boss fights, for example, since, well, uh, having a, protect, uh, a protracted, uh, a long boss fight with these uh, characters would kind of go uh, defeat the point, or the more cinematic point of, uh, of Laura not wanting to kill them. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a bit new to what quick time events. Some games I do like it on, but others I'm actually perfectly fine with. Yeah, it varies more case by case. Ooh. Yeah, as well on how they do it as well, for there's different versions. And it also the complexity of it somewhat. If you're Ooh, just yeah. going to have people button mash like mads, then just get out. I think we need to push down all of those things. Wait, those... Ra oh, so this is an Atlantean thing. Yep. Ow. Uh, let's see, is that all of them? That is, I think, all of them. Okay, then we just need to get to the switch. And yeah, I did say that I would likely show <clears throat> at least one failure with each of the quick, uh, quick time events, but uh, in these cases, I think it would have undercut things a bit too much. Yeah. And not that way. Uh, can we get to, yep. Oh, there's one left. Probably could have gotten that relic quite easily if we just jumped through, but oh well. It's just extras. I should probably look up what the uh, artifacts actually get you. Maybe each one give me a different outfit? Uh, I think more, that more likely... Not spe each specific ones. Since we have gotten some, but I'm guessing if you get all of them in a level or a certain amount, that it might unlock extra stuff like that. Here we go. And now into the Atlantean Temple. So since we have these now, let's actually use them for a bit. Great Pyramid. Another clip. Okay, I really like this. They really made the Atlantean architecture look unique. And rather simple uh, at that. Through simple means, I should mean I should clarify. Yeah. And, um. What are those? Yeah, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, we'll see here in a second. Scene.
Yeah, uh, yeah, come on. <laughs> Cocoons? More like a sort of incubator. <laughs> okay, just chuck her into the corner. Okay, now we see those without wrappings? What the hell are they? They're not less experiments. Uh oh. Do she. Do some of the other mummies? The other ones have their own that were mummified. Has she been re replicating them? Likely. Ooh. There we go. Okay, used up a good bit of ammo on that. <laughs> Luckily, there's some more for us. I do want to try and save some of this. But for now... Uh, yeah, the way back is closed. But this way isn't. Oh yeah, the, <clears throat> the Atlantean architecture in this, it's not over-designed. Like a lot of ancient stuff is. Yeah, or copy pasted for something else. I something I don't mind about they do a little bit of advertising. But this one is completely unique. Yeah, and again, through rather simple means of that. Yeah. A little last bullet in the chamber. Even though simple mean, they do look still advanced, like a very advanced stone cutting. Yeah, I, I think the the uh, the ladder over that we climbed with its widening and thinning, I think that's supposed to be like a double helix. Okay. Pretty sure the game has just basically stopped giving us. Uh, oh, we need to shoot that. It has stopped giving us small medkits at this point. At least that's what it looks like. There we go. Easy enough to deal with. And yeah, now these things are on a timer. Okay, luckily these stupid things aren't retracting. Let's reload. And of course. Not, not that, Laura. Yeah, we're going to be having some annoying combat with that. So we'll be stuck on these small pla- Okay, so this stupid thing was retracting. Okay. <laughs> Just short. Well done. Come on. Okay, yeah, we. I am missing the. I am missing the uh, recovery you know, moments whenever Laura gets knocked back that, like that. But it's still annoying to. It, okay, I'm pretty sure she should have been able to catch there. Uh, you, I think you made that a little bit short. I can deal with you. I think she's knocking into the wall again for some reason. Uh, not that, Laura. Okay. 
see. There we go. It's she still bumped into something, but with, with a bit more height, we had an extra ledge to grab onto. Okay. Well, very obvious what's going to happen here the moment that we hit this. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is just annoying since we have practically no room to dodge. Yeah, I usually dislike that. It's like, like, you're forced to take damage. Really? Well, you just jumped. Yeah, but I, it didn't respond to me jumping it again. Okay. It's very clear that we need to jump to that, jump back, jump to that, over there, and then across. I'm pretty sure we're going to run out of our ammo with I was I was clear very clearly pressing the jump button there. Yeah, no, she ended up sliding. There we go. It, it, she gets stuck on something. Ugh. Okay, come on. All right, are you sure she's supposed to go there? It's the only visible way we have. We can't go back. I'm off. Wait, uh, hi, hi, hi. How uh, high up can you jump for the poles that comes out uh, later? Not high enough. Okay, if we do it angle, it also doesn't work. Hmm. Let's see. It's uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary, and then... What's this? Stupid Tomb Raider Anniversary. Pyramid. Glitch. As much as I like this game, it is getting extremely frustrating that some things are just refusing to work as they should. Yeah, but again, it can just simply be the physics engine is struggling with new systems. Come on, you sp it's, it's Everything now gets loaded through the stupid Steam app. I should probably uninstall that or maybe or block it from the... Uh, th 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 and then it just doesn't load it, of course. Uh, hmm. I'm not going to dig through all of that. Let's see. Okay, that, that might work. By, by going into a swan dive, we get a little bit more of distance. And that might be enough to just turn around and jump across. Okay. 
see. There we go. Our turn. There we go. Laura. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure sometimes if I try to go for the recovery, then Laura will just accidentally flip over the ledge. The moment to jump is when they raise their arm. Okay. Swan dive. Really? There's there's a little ledge there or something. A little lip that is blocking the way. You know what? Fuck the both of you. But never mind. Fuck me instead then. Uh, yeah, I guess it does to making uh, that wolf jumping pot way harder. Practically impossible. I'm more fully peace to the world. They, they should, ironically, since this is a remake of the original, they should remake this game and to fix all of this shit. It, it just seems totally random, like, almost. Yeah, as uh, we, we never... We never put in performance mode, did we? Uh, performance mode, how you mean? Uh, Compatibility mode? Uh, that one. Since we have a save point here, let's do a quick save. A checkpoint. Then we quit the game. And then start it up. And I don't think it's going to do much, if anything. Maybe it's a case where the frame rate needs to be strangled or something to a certain point. Uh, but yeah. Actually, can yeah. you even run Steam games in compatibility mode? Because it's run through something else. Uh, let's see. There. Properties. Hmm. Yeah, compatibility mode isn't really a thing with Steam games, <laughs> I think. Uh, oh. Let's see, through Steam itself, library, home, then Tomb Raider Anniversary, not Chronicles. Let's see. Is there anything here? Properties, Steam Overlay, Theater, no, no. updates, local files. Let me verify integrity. I very much doubt that it's it's this. It is on my main drive, almost four gigabytes. Yeah, all files validated. Hmm. All right. I guess we all just have to do what we can and just pray the engine will be with us. Yeah, there is one thing more I can do. It is over here in the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, or is it the control? It's the control panel, yeah? Okay. Control panel. Come on. Then we go to 3D settings, I think it is. Program settings. And then we need to find Tomb Raider Anniversary among this. Annoyingly, this stuff is, is at once uh, sorted by... Uh, alphabetical order, but also not like it's just 
it's those sections in alphabetical order. And then it starts from A with something else. Uh, there, Tomb Raider Anniversary. Uh, max frame rate. Let's turn that on and limit it to 60 FPS. Apply that. And we minimize this and we start the game up again. Tomb Raider. Okay. I really dislike this when this happens sometimes with Steam. I just put, I just clicked play on the Steam page for it itself, and it opens up a launcher op. It opened up launcher options like just play Tomb Raider Anniversary, and then there's setup in that version. Okay, let me do that for a second. Uh, 60 FPS, 1020, full screen, VSync. Okay, this is all this stuff that's in the uh, in the in-game options as well. Okay. Let's just start up the game, move it over, since for some reason it opens up in the corner of the screen. There, minimize Steam. Uh, move it a little bit more. There, and then hide all the desktop icons again so I can focus mostly on the game. Okay, resume. And let's test this out. There we go. That okay. That it might have been a frame rate thing. Yeah. Yeah, it does look slightly different Oop. even. Careful. Nope, not that, Laura. Yes, it looks a bit better now. I'm not entirely sure about that, but oh, rather, could be like, possible. Like they, they... It's like there is something that they must, uh, doesn't reveal uh, too much detail of the corners and edges of uh, the models. Yeah, I think that's anti-aliasing. Oh, damn it. Okay, there is also, at least one thing that makes this better compared to the original. And it's in, I'm pretty sure in the original, the lava was rising during all of this. Oh... Yeah, that, that, that's a, that is a bit unnecessary. Yeah, then... Oh, got both of them at the same time. Switch back to these immediately instead of just going through this shotgun. But yeah, I... I think... Yeah, I think most of our issues are probably from the fact that the game is... or was running faster than it should be. Yeah... At least we got this solved now. Even when we should probably have done it way earlier. Yeah, with with all games, we should probably just in the future just limit it to 60 FPS, ever, always. Yeah, like I, I keep most of my games on 60 FPS since. But I've been For here seven. from a little brother and other people. There's no reason to be with 60 FPS unless you're one of those hardcore uh, Call of Duty players. What a hardcore shooter player! Shooter player. Yeah, the, the problem is that it was already, it should have already been limited to 60 FPS by the in-game uh, frame limiter. Emphasis on shirts mostly, so it could be that, yeah, that's just faulty since old tech and such. Yeah. Up that, Laura. Okay. Pretty sure I hadn't hit the one of them yet. Okay, I'll take it all the same. I didn't even know what happened. We were too low with the grapple, I think. on our last clip with this. Okay. One oddity that with this is that it shows the maximum 
the secondary number isn't just it's, it's also counting the ammo you have in your clip for some reason it's a bit of an oddity not something I see often I think Typically, the second number with a gun like this is the remaining ammo you have left outside of the clip. Okay, I think you see Songus do that. But it seems to be a preference, but some people prefer it like this and others don't. So we haven't found the, the heavy pistols again. And we've got fireball launchers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure traps like this are less meant to actually get kills and more to slow down, which also work is also a very useful thing about a useful way to use traps yeah they're also probably discourage yeah uh, but all oh, right i've forgotten about actually i hadn't forgotten about one part of this uh yeah right what the heck is What? Meet the doppelganger. It matches our every move. And, well, if we try to shoot it, we just hurt ourselves. So, let's see. A, this is all a big puzzle to try and get past this thing. Netless last line of defense or so, I believe. And yeah, here we see it again with the narrowing and the widening. Hmm. Oop. Okay, I was about to ask, what is that for then? Okay, med kits. Interrupting a puzzle. Okay. Let's try that again. Because we can't move. Uh, we'll, we'll, you'll see. Right? <clears throat> now grab on here. We need to get rid of this thing. Because the moment we get close to the, the exit. Yeah, the doppelganger is going to walk over. A pressure plate that's going to close the door. Like this one here, I believe. So, if we go here... Oh, we're full on shotgun, okay. Yeah, that opens the door up. Let's see. But the moment we move... Yeah, the moment we get up there... The doppelganger is going to set off this uh, pressure plate here that closes the door again. So we need to get rid of her, it, before we can actually pass. Okay, that's so that's gonna be annoying. It isn't that hard, I believe. Come the hell on! Not that. This thing, Laura. Uh. Just enemies during puzzles. Just don't have to deal with them. Before. If you're in game design and you put enemies in a puzzle room, have them be to deal with after or before the puzzle. Ok. 
Yeah. yeah, like some enemies in puzzle can I can understand if they are you supposed to use them to do the puzzle or they are simple trash mobs. But those things are I will not call these trash mobs. Yeah. And I think you can take a guess now as to what we are to do with the doppelganger. Yep, yep. Other than a gorilla pose at them. <laughs> uh burn them? Yeah, because what is below all of this? A very glowy material. Oh. And she oh. does match. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it. Oh, oh, come on, it's timed. And we fell down because of... No, we got burnt and then fell down. Uh, yeah, knowing that that stupid thing is timed. Uh, which one is it now, actually? That one. So we climb up here. Yep. Okay. Open it up again. Wait for it to come out. Jump. I don't know why she goes into a crouch there. Okay. Okay, just getting asked what I wanted from the snack bar for dinner. Alright. Then we turn this thing again, and I think Ink is waking up from her <laughs> paper uh, bin uh, bed. Alright. It's going to close at this rate, isn't it? Up, 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 up. And... Talk about being your own worst enemy. Aurora. And yeah, that's how we get rid of it. The doppelganger is from the original game as well. Okay. You have to get rid of her in a similar way. Like, the, the core with this game is good and all, and wait, we can't actually... Okay, we can turn it, we just have more difficulty with it, since it's one pair of hands. Yeah, it's most it's mostly just in the, the fine-tuning that this game is falling apart a bit. And again, I think it is mostly because of, yeah, not fully compatible systems, really. Yeah, like... It, it kind of it is it, one of those cases that will uh, fall apart over the years. Yeah, as systems that uh, the games rely on are replaced with others that are more efficient or better in some ways, but do not fully work with uh, the old software. Yeah, it becomes a bit of a. a uh... overclocking it too much, so to say. Yeah, I think we've had it with one of our games that we had to hard limit the frame rate as well. Yeah. Because it was what? going out to the bonkers. Omen. Blood Omen is one of them. Yeah. It can be pretty funny at times, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, less fun if you're actually trying to play the game. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, we're going to have to cross these things, actually. Yeah, it, it's kind of like uh, with Minecraft, uh, when you build a great thing, I usually get worried that you go a bit uh, too overboard. Uh, you may have items flung around or something. Yeah. Or get yeah, in a new uh, version of a mod, something is just not going to work anymore because of small changes. Yeah. On the mine, on <laughs> with the Minecraft mod pack that we're using, it's actually an old version of Create. It's being okay. 
that's being used. Is that for... What is that for? I'm guessing that's for a relic or a su supplies or artifacts. I keep ma I keep swapping between artifact and relic, but oh well. We can still take a look since we just did a save. Oop, that is definitely appreciated. More health. And what have we over here? Up the helix ladder. Oh, hell. Oh, yeah. This this has to be a relic. That looks a bit like... Oh. Torque of Embitterment. That is a name. The sacred golden necklace was worn by Atlantean priestess judges only during sentencing of criminals that had offended the god kings of Atlantis. As any discretion against the rulers was punishable execu by execution, the torque became uh, a symbol of death itself. I might be butchering the word there. We Okay, so we still got our hands on a relic. <laughs> one in the, A single one in the entire game. There's nowhere left to go but down. You're rebuilding the army of Atlantis. This pyramid breeds far more than the soldiers you faced. With the Skion, I now have the means to create anything I desire. What is it you desire, Natla? It takes three to rule. Tihokan and Qualopec were too weak to destroy what stands in the way of the Seventh Age. But you have the strength to claim this seat beside me. Immortality has its price. But what are a few lives to sacrifice for your dreams? This is madness. This is what you've been searching for. The answers you've sought your entire life are within the Skion. Everything you've done has led you to this place. You're here because you belong here, Lara. That's who you are. I'm sorry, Father. Yep, boss fight. What the heck is that? And I thought she was to be the final boss. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I think the thing that we have to do with this thing, and again, this this is from the original as well, is that well we have to lure it over the edge. Miss the shot. Okay, just lure it away for a bit. There we go. Come on. Yeah, this this is a lot easier here uh, because in the original we didn't have like little quick time events like this. And yep. Good. Okay, it almost got us there. Yeah, getting rid of it isn't that easy. There we go. Oh, it... 
it had its hands stuck. Okay, how do we repeat that? Ah, there we go. Right, getting at the smaller thing. There we go. Now, is that enough to lure you over this time? Not yet. So we need to get rid of the other arm as well. Uh, first, of, oh, okay. Oh no, it was. I for a moment I thought it was a, a small one. No sense of luck. But no sense. Of Yay. Ooh. Gets you stuck again. Come on. There we go. Wait. That was... So we, we basically amputated the same arm twice. <laughs> Do that. Okay. And dodge. He rolled it onto its head. Okay, come on. Is this enough? No. Nope. Nope. Oh, we are <laughs> feeling our weights. There we go. One finger at a time. And yeah, let's reload. Grab some more ammo. Hmm. I I think we've been picking up the 50 caliber ammo. In let me check. Yes, we have that still. Okay, so. Somewhere we could have found the heavy pistols again, but we just missed them. I, they might have been in the in the first lava flooded area, the little thing that I saw. That could have been the pistols themselves. I thought there was just ammo. Maybe it did. Oh no! Not the, not those. Not here. Oh. There you go. I, I thought. I thought I thought I had the pistol selected, but no, it's the Uzis that. Are... And then so I was just firing those single shots. Okay. Well, yeah. Now we still need to get out of this place before it blows up or whatever. Yeah, uh, whatever adventure uh, cliche. Because the lava is still rising, and this is set in a, a volcano. So, uh, yeah, we don't want to. Uh, uh, we don't want to get jump stared by an undead. Uh, it's not technically undead, but we probably would wish it was. But, uh, yeah, getting jump stared by a skinned centaur. How the heck are we even supposed to get to that thing? Is there a back entrance? Doesn't look like it. And, yeah, I'm guessing with all of the growths that. Netla has been installing or one word of it oh. I don't think this place is as structurally sound anymore I say as I right, <laughs> walk right next to a giant ass stalagmite that's crashed into the floor okay we can't pull that this is probably going to cause something to collapse or just open up an airlock I'm just... I'm getting really tired of these things. Get a shotgun to the face. Get it. Uh, oh well. Yeah, I gotta... In some of the games like these, I really... Like, in some games I can handle flying foes just fine, but... But now, like, these little buggers... Yeah, when they're throwing explosives. Yeah, and it's a very in the area where it's gonna be very tricky to dodge. 
Okay. Okay, they seem to be easier to kill at least. Yeah, it's more than being annoying with their attacks in the first place. Yeah. Okay, your turn. There will be some games. It's kind of worse than they had. Like, here, Laura at least have a, sh a ranged weapon. In some games, the only way to hit them is with ranged weapon or with an aerial attack that could end up making them fall into lava. Yeah. Uh, let's see, yes. Speaking of falling into lava, the, the boss there. I'm pretty sure in the original you had to just keep shooting it with your pistols, which would cause it to. Uh, Blinch back a bit, little by little, and how to get it into the lava that way. Okay. Uh, Just Drive Hayes made a video about the original Tomb Raider. And I believe that was one of his complaints in it there. And there's something in the water. Uh, what the. What? That. What? Okay. I, I get the feeling it blew itself up. And, okay, it's a lever. I'm, I'm just going to ignore the confusion that I'm feeling of it getting itself <laughs> killed and just move on with this. Okay, moving on. Just ignoring the stupid thing. And they're, they're overdoing it with all the enemies in here. Let's see. Okay, we're just quickly... Oh, wait, we can't open it? Okay, how... Hmm. Yep. Almost had to jump into the lava there. Okay, we're supposed to... That artifact that we passed... Yeah, pretty sure to, certain we have to use this thing to get to it. I'm... Uh, getting tired of these gargoyles. The stone ones are better. The Disney stone ones even more so. Hehehehehehe. <laughs> Oh, have you actually seen concept art of the original design and uh, Disney did good to tune them down? Okay, I should still watch that show in its entirety sometime. We could add it to the to watch list if it isn't already wait, in wait. there. Show? Hmm? Yeah, the guard. The, the this there's a yeah, there's a TV show, uh, Gargoyles. Oh, that one. I thought you meant the Disney one for Quasimodo had their own show for a moment. <laughs> okay, those are those are also better than these ones. Okay, but it was those were the one I meant had a originally they were supposed to be way more grotesque. Yeah. But Disney said uh, maybe not, and then we got the ones we have in Quasimodo now. I think they show up in the. I think Quasimodo had a direct dis to DVD sequel, uh, which 90s uh, Disney movie didn't get one of those. I, I, th I don't actually know if they show up in that or not. Or basically I anything. I think it was the most one. I'm, I'm not even sure now if there is a sequel to Quasimodo, but pretty sure there is. So with many of those directed seeking uh, direct DVD sequels, it isn't all that uh, good. Well, presumably, like most of those directed DVD sequels aren't really that good compared to the originals. Yeah, some of them are more directed PSS sequels even. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it could cause it would release way before the DVD. Hmm. Wait, 
Is there another one that we're missing or something? Or is this timed? And yeah, don't want to fall off that. That one's set off already. No, I have to ask. Oh, here. Are we, are we willing to go over time to finish this? Uh, yeah. We still got about 20 minutes and think. Give me a moment, actually. Okay, I was absolute. I was sure that another one of those stupid things would spawn, but uh, Ink got out of her, <laughs> out of her bed and wants out. All right. Uh, nice time to pause the game. Having Laura aim at the audience. The uh, POV. You are Larson. Oh dear gods. Okay. Get out of the bag or out of the room. So we can move on. Yeah, I, I do I do not I absolutely do not get this hat. Like she she's been sleeping in the cardboard box that I've been using for you know just paper waste. And she's been she's been sleeping in that as a bed for a while now. Which she hasn't in a long as well. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this place is coming apart. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing she's doing that due to she probably realized it's pretty hard to sleep on your arm. Okay, hello. Mountain says no. Ow. Uh. Right, that box has been there and hasn't been as empty as it is now for weeks. So, yeah, can't be cats. Really? Just a little bit of debris. Well, molten debris, but still. Hmm. Okay, that means that you need to keep an eye out for that as well. Oop, almost ran into it. Okay. To the side. Oop. No, Lara to the side. There we go. Okay. Let's not get too close. Yep. Technically speaking, Laura should be you know, choking on toxic gases as we're going through this. Yeah, it, it, just the heat alone will drain her. Sense. Which way to actually go from here? Here's the thing. Oh. We, we humans are not meant to handle these kind of heats, not without proper equipment. Yeah. Okay, I had a feeling one of these was hidden here. Yep. Okay, I did not expect those things to actually come back up. But yeah, it, that's that's molten rock. That is that is far above 100 degrees. We are talking like in thousands of degrees here. Yeah. So basically, if you approach a lava area like this, you will probably not even reach the lava area before you pass out from either the gas or more likely just the heat alone. Yeah. Okay. Grab onto here. You see, you got. Oh, oh bro, it's kind of terrifying. You got knocked out by the heat, then probably die of the gases. Yeah. And... Since once you are knocked out by the heat, you gonna have a lot of problems to move. Okay, dinner call went out. Um, I'm going. I'm going to try and get. Uh, dinner is being done early this time. It's always late, and this time it gets it goes early. So yeah, of course, my, my freaking luck. Um, okay. Uh, shall I just go eat, have dinner, be back as quickly as possible? And then uh, we can finish up the game because we are really freaking close to the end, and I don't want to end the stream here. I'll yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll edit out this individual recording. Yeah, that's it. We edit this out 
Pick in the quarter, so you go eat as fast as you can, not too fast. Restarting the recording. You still here, Hildrick here? Hello. <laughs> Was about to go test one too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I didn't actually keep track for the time. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Sorry if it was, but uh, yeah, uh, oh, I got my phone. For, for people wondering on YouTube, Killian had to go and eat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I forgot to say that before stopping the recording. Oop. Okay, so yeah, that I have, I don't know how long that actually was. Hopefully not too long, and I saw. Okay, I'm, I was expecting to land in the lava there. There's a ring here. And there are some goodies here. Okay, give me that. I was going to have plenty of burns to deal with after this place. Another artifact. This, this has been the most we've found in any place so far, I think. Yeah. I just remember something. There is one game that I know that actually takes into account the rule toxic fumes for lava. Okay, which then? Age of Wonders 3. <laughs> for there is a. If you try to take over a thing called Magma Forge, this is basically what it sounds. There's some bars. If you stand over them with a unit or your hero, they will take damage okay. for as long as they stand over those uh, bars. Those grids or something like that? Yeah. Hmm. So you okay. pre prefer to do it when I stand on them. Yeah, we also had Sanzara in which uh, we can't enter the uh, hot region, the, lo the volcano area, without the protection of a fire fairy. Well, you can go in there, but you're going to get zapped back to the entrance. True. True. Thousands of years I've waited for this moment. Do you realize what you've done? Blood on your hands. Do you believe it was spilled for the good of all man? Or for your own selfish desire? Look inside yourself, Lara. Your heart is as black as mine. So yeah, we do get to fight Natla. What the fuck did she just do? Ow. Yeah, okay. she was terrifying also. Are you going to say sort of haunt? Because she's oh. been burned. <laughs> I'm more surprised they went all out with the um, the succubus look, so to say. Okay, time to switch to these. See what they can do. Yeah, at least we have a big open area to deal with her here. I don't remember her zipping around like this. Come on, get close. Okay, she has a rage bar, but it's not filling. Got only three bullets, might as well swap. Or... Okay, I jumped right into that one. Apparently we did still have some... Uh, <clears throat> some small kits. Come on. I, I do not remember her just zipping away like that at all. And then again, it has been really long since I last played this. Yeah. That wasn't even much distance. That wasn't completely unnecessary, Natla. Okay, pistols then. She seems intent on staying out of our range with that. 
And then the moment I stop aiming, she just comes in like that. Okay. Reload this thing and clip her other wing. Did not mean to rhyme, but I did. Actually, we won't, since we have a gun that <laughs> has unlimited ammo. Ah. Okay, just a second too late. Are we getting her on that or not? Oh, oh we, <laughs> we have 18 medkits left now. I, I knew we had a bunch, but not that much. I think we should be glad for that. We probably will need it. We might, yeah, with how she's acting here. I'm not even sure if that's actually hurting her or not. Those definitely aren't. Over doesn't work either. So we need to dodge back. There we go. We need to shoot whatever that is on our back. To actually get anything done. Getting us with the. There. Oh, come on! That was way too quick. Okay, we just need to get. We need to get shooting the moment she becomes vulnerable, or she'll just recover and run. Ow. Missing something. Oh, there we go. Or is it only on the last one that she can become vulnerable or something? Oops. And Tomb Raider veterans will remember that little trick. Just jumping back and forth. That is a good way of just avoiding damage. I think the lining up might be a little bit off or something. Because we're supposed to hit her in the back of that. What have you really accomplished here? Nothing but a temporary stay of execution for your kind. This island is just one remnant of Atlantis. I will find another. You have lost everything!
that's that. <laughs> we, mi we missed one of the artifacts. <laughs> and apparently finding I'm the relic surprised. didn't count. There you go. And now we've unlocked the cheats as well. Oh, dear. So, let's put down a save. <laughs> exactly the 24th. And, yeah. Here's the credits. I gotta say, I... As much jank as janky as this game proved to be, and maybe I am just misremembering things through rose-colored glasses uh, when I originally played through this game, but I still like it a lot. Yeah, no. To your credit, we should have done the wool frame thingy earlier. Yeah, we probably should do that as a standard with uh, pre-2010 uh, uh, games. <clears throat> yeah, especially when we know this, this kind of problem. <laughs> yeah, and uh, well, next up on, um, well, next up in the franchise, chronologically, would be Tomb Raider Legend. But we've got one other game to go through before we can get to that, and that will be Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Yeah. Now the thing that with. Uh, Back to Tomb Raider Legend for a second. Is that came out before this game, so that might be even more jankier with some things. <laughs> oh, okay. Probably we, we we have an idea. If we notice the same problems there, we know what to do. Yeah. And do it early on. <clears throat> and so far, I like this game. Yeah, I, I like the way it characterizes Laura. It, it's. Her expressions and all that aren't exactly subtle, but uh, it could be done even more obvious with her going on monologues and such, but monologues is not the craft way. And here we have the voice acting. Great Elise as Natla. And Kaylee Haas as Laura Croft. Dave Wittenberg as Larson. Jim Ward as Pierre. Kid, <laughs> Bill Ten Tanzini. Cold, which is the, the big guy, Dave Fenoy, Willapak, Alistair Duncan, Tehoken, Steve Blum, I thought I recognized him, Edward uh, Richard Croft, and the guide. Okay, the guide only had like two lines or so. I'd actually forgotten about him for a moment. Because <laughs> he just dies instantly, almost. <clears throat> but yeah, there is still a little bit more to show about this game. Because, like many of the Tomb Raider games, we can access the Craft Manor. Oh and dear. There, there is one fun thing about Craft Manor in the original uh, time, in the original era of Tomb Raiders, from the first one on, or I think it's from the first one on. But uh, the Craft Manor has a lot of hidden stuff, and one of those in Tomb Raider 2 and onward, if I remember correctly. It's a secret room with the uh, trophies of uh, Lara's, among which the Skion. Why so, am I not surprised? Yeah, in that, in the original timeline, it doesn't get destroyed or left behind, and yeah, she just, <laughs> she just uses it as a decoration. But, yeah, yeah better have it as a it, hidden plain sight as a decoration. Uh, then have that, it. it uh, it's in a hidden room somewhere, I believe. Uh, true. Though, where she hides it and put it in a museum where every mad bad Idiot. guy will see it and rob the museum. Yeah. It would also raise a lot of questions about known history and all that. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we can take a little peek into Craft Manor. It is mostly just meant as a, a playground to have some fun with. In the original Tomb Raider, there was sort of an extra level in Craft Manor. I don't know if it's only be yeah, it only becomes available at the end, of course. Or was it was it the original or was it two that has an extra level in Craft Manor? I don't actually remember at the moment. I think I think it's two actually, not one. But why are you asking me? <laughs> oh, that's a Dutch name there in the middle, Uxman. <clears throat> That's Dutch? Uh, yeah, it basically... Actually, I don't know what the second half would mean. 
If you separate the word, it would mean corner mom. But uh, I don't think that's what uh, it's mostly... <laughs> uh, what it actually translates to, if there is even a translation of that. Hmm. Ooh. Hey! But yeah. Uh, we've hit our quota of two main games and one side game stream so far. Tomorrow we'll have Borderlands. Probably nothing on the side of that, and the music is going hard now. Yeah. Is it? I'm hoping for make an extra stream today. However, only one stream tomorrow, but there is no sane reason to do double stream tomorrow. Yeah, since with Borderlands we're going long anyways. Yeah, so do it double stream tomorrow will will not be good for anyone's sanity. Yeah. Oh hello. Do you wanna Okay <laughs> community thank you that that's nice. Tomb Raider Chronicles, Tomb Raider Laura, Tomb Raider.net, Laura Cross Online, Tomb News, Tomb Raider Community, and Tomb Raider Inc. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, always nice when the fans get thanked. And, well, this game would not exist without the fans. Yeah. So, let's go have a little look over here. Miss Croft, pardon the mess in the foyer, but a rather large shipment of antiquities arrived while you were out. I would have had the crates placed in the gallery, but the security alarm has somehow been activated, locking the room from the inside. If this was not concerning enough, the renovators have shut off the water supply to the entire manor in order to continue construction of the pool house. On the bright side, I've located your missing journal and returned it to its appointed hiding place in your room. Faithfully in your service, Winston. Ah, uh, Winston. <laughs> I, I'm just re in the original Tomb Raider. There was also the Craft Manor, and it was more of a even more of a playground than this place will be. Uh, but Winston would follow you every freaking where, which <laughs> it it crafts people the hell out. Uh, until they discovered that uh, Winston couldn't open doors, so uh, they would lead him into the fridge, which would open with a button uh, from the outside, and then they'd rush back out and lock him in there. Oh, come on. Uh, you want to know something cute about uh, that later on in the series? Cute. <laughs> That actually gets referenced in the latest era of Tomb Raider. Wait, what? Yeah, in the in the current era of Tomb Raider games, like the the reboots, then she rise off and shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, I believe it was in Shadow or maybe Rise. Or you you can't get to Cross Manor in the first one for very obvious reasons. But uh, you can find. Yeah, you can find a letter in Craft Manor uh, that actually references that. That uh, young Lara would have <laughs> had at one point locked Winston in the fridge. Uh, oh, it's so mean. Someone in the chat? Uh, hello there, Chicken Squiggles. Uh, you are the only person streaming this with the lowest amount of viewers. Oh well. I mostly stream this for uh, my own fun and Rakir's over there. and. Welcome to the stream, though we are about to end it. Though maybe we could do one more stream where we go through the puzzles of a uh, craft manor, if you'd like, Drakir. Maybe, though, I usually don't care for those. It's, uh, it's rare that I bother with the uh, bonus levels uh, of this kind, unless they, I, I get to know more lore and such. But if this is just for only the challenge? I probably would just ignore it. Yeah, it's not really a chance thing, I'd say. Actually, I'll play through this on my own time, make take a bit of a timer with to see how long it is, so to tell if we would fill a stream with it or not, or just go too slow, or not be able to fill it at all. And uh yeah. If I hmm, I think there is some lore stuff from this that we can find in that journal. But I don't actually remember. I'll, I'll just check it on my own. And if it is, 
enough, I, if I would judge it to be enough, and then we'll do an extra stream of this game. Maybe as a side thing, actually, so that we can still get started with Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Uh. So for now, we'll call it here. And one last time, it goes back to the first. We'll exit the game, or the first screen, I mean. So, let's head on over here, and we're going to look for someone to raid. So, open up the browser. Yeah, uh, it, it has been recording all this, I hope. Uh, yeah, uh, stop streaming, stop recording, stop replay buffer. I probably don't really need to run the replay buffer since we have the clip button. That would probably be more useful for when I'm just, when, I, <clears throat> when I'd be recording offline. Okay, change the screen share to Twitch, and let's see, <clears throat> pardon, uh, da, da, da. Sour Walrus is streaming Atomic Heart, Hexical is streaming Grounded, Brain is streaming Company of Heroes 3, that I didn't know that was out yet, uh, then we have Kiri Natsuyoko who is streaming Earth Defense Force 5, that's the most oh, recent no. one. The Lazy General is streaming Dwarf Fortress. Kaine is streaming Star Citizen. Wait, is that actually still a thing? I thought that was not becoming a thing ever. Uh, and Puffy Cakey is just chatting at the moment. Seems they're back from a hiatus. Any of those sound interesting, or shall we look at the recommended? Uh, let's look at the recommended. Let's see. We have. Let's show more for a sec. I'm going from low to high. We have Austin Nado, who is streaming Doom 2 Hell on Earth. Okay, a, a practice session for something. I'm guessing they, may be, they might be a challenge streamer or a speedrunner, maybe. Uh, let's see, next up in numbers, we have uh, bar <laughs> Barcode Synthetics, who is streaming MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Uh, then we have another Doom 2 streamer, Cinder Thief. Uh, oh, I missed this one. Duro Goron streaming Shovel Knight. Um, let's see. The Adventure Network is streaming World of Warcraft. Kelpe is streaming Skull, the Hero Slayer. I know that one. It's a 2D uh, roguelite or something like that. I'm sure what roguelite. Uh, Old Man Mordite is streaming Stellaris. Mr. Icarus is streaming Stalker Anomaly. And last one, Chili VT is streaming Atomic Heart as well. Any of those interesting, or shall I pick? Hmm. And what you pick this time? I usually pick for some reason. <laughs> okay, I I pick Mr. Icarus then. I let's see. I don't know Stalker Anomaly. Maybe it's a fan game or mod or something. Either way, uh, let me double check. Copy the name to avoid. Typos, then we go to our channel, and we, there, slash raids. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you Noon for uh, <coughs> for showing up, chilling along a bit. Thank you Zeri the Fox uh, for chilling along a bit as well. And yeah, thank you as well as, as well, <laughs> Chicken Squiggles. Uh, sorry for, yeah, just... <coughs> Sorry for ending it just after you arrived, but we've already done two hours and extra actually because I had to go rush off for dinner. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll do an evening stream. We'll see. As to what we'll stream then, we'll also see. <laughs> probably Headlander. Uh, probably, yeah. It, it's a fun game. And uh, as always, thank you. Oh, I've... Before I forget, uh, thank you, Drakia, there is someone else. Thank you, Ram, for co-commenting along for a bit as well. And thank you as always, Drakia. You're welcome as always, my friend. And with that, we'll start the raid. And uh, yeah, maybe another stream tonight in about two and a half hours. Uh, otherwise, we'll have the, we'll hopefully have the long Borderlands stream tomorrow. And yeah, the day after, I'll be back to work. It was fun, but it lasted uh, half some vacation. Yeah, poor thing. Okay, but for now, thank you all again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. 
Be safe, everyone, and watch out for fire-breathing bats. <laughs> yeah, and ancient Atlantean fire queens. Oh, dear.